Thank you, Chair Murray. Uh, thank each of you for being here today. I greatly appreciate it. Secretary Blinken, Secretary Armando, thank you for the time you've given us over the last few weeks on this important issue, um, and particularly the issue of fentanyl. I hope to be able to dive into that more today. Secretary Austin, I'm actually going to start with you. A special welcome uh, and a war eagle to a fellow war eagle, to a fellow Alabamian and an Auburn University postgraduate. Secretary Austin, I truly believe we achieve peace through strength. I grew up outside the gates of Fort Rucker that you know has more recently been renamed Fort Nova Cell. I saw firsthand the sacrifice of our service men and women. And I saw that that sacrifice wasn't just theirs. It was that of their entire family, giving so that our country could remain safe and strong. I have a deep appreciation for our men and women in uniform and for the families who also serve. As I think about DOD's modernization efforts, Alabama has played and continues to play a vital role. Across our great state, our defense industrial base is leading efforts ranging from hypersonics, direct energy, modernizing, modern, modernization of our rotary wing aircraft, national security space launch, contested logistics, and manufacturing and assembling in key missile programs such as Javelin, THAAD, JASM, and JAGM. This is just a sampling of what Alabama's talent, synergies, and capabilities provide to the defense and national security community as we face impending threats from the PRC. Secretary Austin, you've been in this seat now for nearly two and a half years. On a scale of A to F, what grade would you give yourself on aligning the DOD to the national defense strategy and ensuring the joint first force is able, willing, and ready to address the multi-domain threat that is posed by China? I would give my team uh, a very high mark, high grade, because uh, as you've heard me say a couple of times today, Senator, uh, everything that we do is focused on our national defense strategy. Uh, we've gone, we specifically aligned our budget requests uh, to that strategy. Uh, the capabilities that we're going after uh, will provide us the, uh, uh, the capability to support our warfighting concepts. Uh, and so uh, everything that, that we do is, uh, is aligned uh, with this strategy. So I would, Number one, I think it's the right strategy. Number two, uh, I think that uh, we are very much focused on exec the execution of that strategy. Well, thank you for that answer. I think we owe it to the American people um, that you have the resources to ensure that we have the most lethal and best equipped military in the world. Secretary Austin, I'd be remiss if I didn't touch on one more topic. As we consider the multi-domain threat, land, sea, air, space, that is posed by the PRC, particularly from a space perspective. As the leader of the Department of Defense, I implore you to cut through the politics and make a final basing decision for the U.S. Space Head Command Headquarters. As you know, Huntsville's Redstone Arsenal finished first in both the Air Force's evaluation phase and the selection phase. That leaves no doubt that the Air Force's decision to choose Redstone as the preferred basing location was correct and it was done on the merits. That decision should remain in the Air Force's purview. Media reports have said that the President and those in the White House are preparing to prioritize partisan political considerations at the expense of our national security, our military modernization, and our force readiness. And for me, that is deeply disturbing. When you look at this, you said earlier, in order to compete and succeed against China, we must use all of our tools. When you look at that, we know that those tools are there at Redstone Arsenal. When you look at the city of Huntsville in the past two years, they have been ranked by U.S. News and World Report as number one and number two place to live in the United States. The city has also been ranked number three and most affordable places to live in the country. It was number three in the city's nationwide uh, search for best quality of life and number four as the most prosperous place in America. I could go on and on about the actual city of Huntsville and the accolades um, that have been rightfully given to them, but the bottom line is not only is Huntsville's workforce the best prepared to support Space Command's mission, but also the city of Huntsville is the best place for that workforce to thrive and to live the American dream.
Locating the permanent Space Command headquarters on Redstone Arsenal undoubtedly remains in the best national security interest of the United States. You referenced earlier in your remarks the buildup of China in both space and cyberspace. My colleague across the aisle said Xi Jinping says that the U.S. has a flawed and failing political system. Do not prove him right. Urge the president to take the politics out of this. Do what's best for making sure that we are ready and capable to face China on all fronts. Urge him to allow the Air Force to do their job. It is certainly, in my opinion, past time. Thank you.